we don't have our Andy here tonight, so we'll just run it. Um, first up is 42 Silver Lake Road. The applicant here. Um, Scott, are you here for 42 Silver Lake? I am. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Okay. I hold on that. Can I get sure. it? I stand him up. Oh, here he is. Yep. Wave the reading. Second. Well, so we'll see second. Beautiful. All right. Hi. Hey. Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, so we don't have the applicant here for this? The applicant should be online with you folks. She was planning to be uh, attending by Zoom. Well, I would just like to disclose that I um, know the, the applicant just kind of casually just being, because they're on Civil Lake Road down the street for me, the uh, young girl or whatever. But I don't think it'll affect anything that we're dealing with before the board today. I don't have a problem with that, Jim. Yep. Um, you want to, yeah, I think we'll maybe we'll jump to the next one quick. They're not on yet. All right, Scott's going to type. We're going to jump to the next one and come back. Sure, the applicant is not here. Okay, um, by Brittany Road. Have you, folks? Excuse me. No, yeah, if you want to take us a uh, pull up a seat, consider sure. it. Yeah. I would like to also in San motion to waive the reading on this. Second, can I get a vote? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Beautiful. Can you state your name and addresses for the record? Uh, Keith Connolly, 5 Brittany Road, Bellingham Events. Tarami Connolly, 5 Brittany Road, Bellingham. Okay. Do you want to explain what you like to do here? Um, we are planning to build an in-law farm for my parents. Um, they lived in Framingham before they sold their home, and um, we are just looking to build like a one-bedroom small apartment for them. Um, yeah, yeah uh, one car garage with a uh, uh, 700 square foot uh, in law suite, one bedroom, one bath, uh, living area in the back behind it. Mm -hmm. okay. you know, the the Second. I believe they have, they've already uh, started the process for an upgrade on, on the septic. I, I saw that's what I was looking for quickly if I could see it. Okay. Did you did you have to um are you gonna have to add uh capacity in the septic or was it adequate for the, the extra bedroom? It's adequate for it. Um originally when it was built in 1994, um it was um intended to you can add like another bedroom, like an addition, um, because it's an in-law apartment that it was when it's built as something that was approved. That's so many gallons. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's four, you need 440 capacity mm -hmm. for a portrait. So yeah, that's a, that's a process that's um evaluated when they apply for the yeah, you know, yeah. 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 Um, I really don't have too many questions for this one. This is for your mom? My mom and dad. Your mom and dad. It looks like I looked at your property on uh Google Street View. It looks like it's a Pretty, most of the construction is going to be in the back, and it's like there's uh, woody streaming around the sides anyway. Right. Um, on the side, we have a couple of trees on the side. We already spoke to the builders about some of the trees that we need to go down. They're not big trees, but um, it's on the side. Uh, on the back, they're all good. Yeah. And uh, I have a question, I made. Uh, is anyone else moving in other than in laws? No. no. Okay. And uh, from the structure, the, the structure is only going to extend towards the back. Yes. Uh, of the um, no. The, so, well, so the so garage. We one car garage. garage. So we have a two car garage. Like, we are doing a third car. I see. Uh, to the right. side of our second on okay. the outside. And, and then the we're building that. I see. Yeah. I also see that it's currently living with you now. 
I see. I feel <laughs> we're, that. We're really excited. Like one step closer. They've been really helpful. We both have very demanding jobs, so that's one of the reasons why that is worth doing. We're very like excited about it. The fact that they're willing to do this for us with us, um, and this is taking us like one step closer. So. Um, the best roommates ever been. He loved having them. <laughs> it is yeah. really nice. But I yeah. think they they need their own space. You know, my mom. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, I guess the other thing I know as an architect, the garage seems kind of tight with the web. I guess I just keep an eye on that. I guess it doesn't matter anything with us. But the garage seems kind of tight with what? Because we're adding that new garage and it's 13 feet. Just once you have the vehicle, like you have it there, and you want space around it to kind of maneuver around. Yeah, I just kind of keep it in mind. It looks like it's getting so good. standard garages of twenty um, garages that they currently put on houses are like twenty four, usually twenty four by twenty. Yeah, that's for example. So I mean, it's, yeah, so a single, you know, even at twelve foot. So this one here, it's seven, it's thirteen. So it's maybe thirteen by twenty two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It'll be a single guy garage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it just looks. Yeah, I, I think it kind of looks it, next yeah. to the other one. It looks I think it's actually like the two that we currently have because we are, are. I think it's twenty four. It goes back twenty four. Yeah, it's pretty wide. It's very yeah. spacious. And... We have a basement for them to uh, store all their other stuff. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this something that you're looking to do immediately? Um. To be honest, we have been in the process for a really long time, just like looking around for a builder and a the process. It's been over two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had some uh, some builders back out, and mm -hmm. uh, they sold their house in Framingham right around COVID two years ago, three years ago, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then uh, price of lumber went through the roof. Oh yeah. So we had to wait yeah. a few months for that, and then. A lot of contractors they've lost employees so they weren't able to commit and then um companies had to make up for lost time so they have projects they need to finish um so it just took us a little bit of time um but we're ready you're ready to go ready. <laughs> excuse your pace no no i think uh i think it's pretty straightforward yeah is it connected to the main house at all just internally yes there a door? yes there's a door that goes through mm -hmm. um, we have an entry with the next garage. The, the to, third to garage. clarify, is what connected? If a other garage is connected, right, I we'll, guess it's garage through the garage, right? Yeah, it'll be connected through the garage. It will be connected to your your living area too. Or to no, the, just the garages will be connected. There'll be a doorway between the third car garage, uh, the third garage, door, and the so second here, garage. Here's their it's garage here. But the living spaces are not connected. You're, you're able to go yeah. through the garage, and there's their entry for their garage into their. I, yeah, I, I know in the past uh, this is something uh, Jim Dunley would point out. Maybe it's on the board. Is you would always say it's always good. I mean, it doesn't matter either way, but just having if you can have a door through the lit to the living spaces, then you can be their tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not that it, yeah, it's not anything. We, um, when we go through their process, we were going to redo our garage as far as our stairway, but um, that's going to be further down the line. Um, but we wanted to make sure that the opening was big enough, the door. Um, that we have a son too, so he can kind of go in and out to grab my grandpa's house. Um, we might have to do some rearrangement because we have some toys and trucks and things we are in the garage. So, yeah, that's kind of a pathway to go. I have one more question. So the need for for applying for this permit is out of uh, since you need to expand the place and they need their own space to live in. It's really for them. Correct. Okay. Yes. That's it. Awesome. Got a motion to close it. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any discussion between the board? I'll move to approve the permit request. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, it's good for five years, and you have to reapply. The permit? Yes. Okay. It's basically, she still, you shouldn't say that. They are still living there. Never really an issue. Right. And it's strictly for them. Yeah. Right. Can I just clarify? We have the five year. It's five years to build, or five years, even if it's done like fifth year or next year. In five years, we have to build five years. Again. Permit is issued. 
I guess we have to apply again if they're still currently living there. So if you're still using it as an NYU. I get it. Okay. Yeah. The idea is that it's not it's not a way for people to um, create multi-family housing within a residential okay. place. So we want to make sure that only the people intended to use it are using it. Okay. Yes. It's more just a check-in too. I mean, in yeah. the same conditions, and it's that's normally not a big deal at all. Yeah. I, I think we're actually trying to whittle that down to be. I think that's uh, more more administrative. Administrative. So hopefully, five years of just administrative. Okay. So Thank um, you. good luck. What is it? Twenty-day appeal process. That's up. Yes. Yeah, Twenty yep. days. So once you um so um. Jim will write the decision and um, it'll be um, supplied to you and it'll get um, reported at the clerk's office. Okay. And then at least 20, 20 day appeal period. Okay. After that appeal period, you can apply for your permits. It need, does need to be recorded at the registry and then we get a stamp copy back and then uh, you can apply for your permits. You submit that with your building permit and uh, it goes into your file. So oh. it's, it's always in that file. We can guide you through that. Yeah. Process. The, 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 yeah. yeah. Amy's on vacation. When she comes back, she'll guide you right through it. Okay. Will you be reaching out to us, or yeah? So we'll give you a call when it's when it's completed, okay. and then you can pick it up, and you you get it stamped in at the clerk's office, and then uh, the time starts right from that. And uh, after that twenty day appeal period, you take it and record it mm -hmm. at the registry, and um, then you'll bring us back a, a copy of the recorded. You know, it'll have the recording information on it, and you just. You would uh, um, put that in your building uh, permit package, and then it'll get into your your, um, your street folder automatically in the computer. So we can help you through the process when when Thank it's uh, when it's drafted. It's not as scary as you think. Yeah, it is a little scary. It's not as scary. You know, it's intended just you know so you keep in mind that it's it's a family use apartment only. It's mm -hmm. never to be rented for supplemental income. Right. right. That's yeah. the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Right. You good to go. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Is this um Carol? That's that correct. You? Yes, that's me. I'm Carol. Do we need a motion? No, we need a motion. Open. Do we want to do a motion with the reading? Okay, we're good. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Carol, you want to explain uh, what you have for tonight? Certainly, uh, happy to. So um, <clears throat> my uh, mom is, um, well, she's 76 years old and uh, she lives in a, uh, a townhouse condominium in Falls Church, Virginia. She um, is retired and she lives on essentially her social security and the pension of her um, second husband, not my dad, from Belgium. So she's, uh, she's, she's in a situation right now where um it's just untenable she's not going to be able to afford to stay there and any equity in her home is being depleted and there's no one around there um and i'm up here uh, with her three grandkids my brother just recently moved to um the schenectady area i think or albany uh recently and it's just time to get her out from under that reverse mortgage and get her up here closer to us um my 90 year old father is down there. They're, they've been divorced um, for quite some time, but the goal is to have him uh, get up here somewhere, not on our property, but um, we, <clears throat> considering our financial situation, um, there wasn't really an option to you know, purchase anything up here. And um, she, my goal is that, I, I don't think she should have to struggle. And, and my, my siblings agree. I don't want her to be counting pennies. I'd rather her um, come up here and be close to her grandkids. And of course, she'll be a great help to me and my wife. We have three kids and um, that's the goal. We, for a long time, we thought about how we could work getting a property up here for her, but uh, financially it's just not feasible. And the longer she stays in Northern Virginia, um, it's just, it's not the quality of life we want for her. So um, we have a beautiful piece of property. Uh, we love Bellingham. And we started exploring the idea of putting in a uh, either a, a addition to the house, but we have a very unique, I think, um, property with lots of, of ledge and wetlands in the front. And so we landed on the idea of a detached in-law um, over a two-car garage so that she could have a garage space and um, sort of have her own life, but 
be right there with us. And as she gets older, we can, I mean, I, she comes up and stays with it for a month at a time. She's pretty awesome. My kids love her and my wife loves her and I love her. And so that's why we're here. We're trying to make that happen, actually. I've got two questions. One is technical and one is, I'll start with the easy one first. Um, in law above the garage, is that going to be an issue as she gets older? Um, the flight, flights of stairs? That's just my a personal question. That uh, no, I I, pr I appreciate that question. Yeah. We've we've done a lot of um thinking about that. Um, you know, we have a shed there right now, and we're going to probably sell that. I don't think we're going to be able to relocate it on our property again because of the constraints uh, of the property. Um, and um, our goal is that um, she'll have an indoor parking space, but then the other bay we could substitute as the shed that we're losing. And the goal is to have an indoor staircase that could accommodate a, um, you know, a, a, a motorized chair at some point if she needs it. So that's the type of stuff that, you know, once we know that um, we can move forward, I already have a um, building company that I've talked to um, and, and explained to them what we're looking for. So um, we're trying to keep all that in mind, you know. And the other question I have, and I suppose I'm gonna direct it to you, sir. I think um, a in-law and a detached garage. I know there's some technicalities of it needing to be, or I th at least I thought it needed to be attached. Yeah, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really say that it, it's required to be attached. Um, I, May I address that, sir? Sure. This is Scott Rolf. The, the reason uh, we chose the location for the proposed garage, and, I'm, and I'm, I know this plan that you have in front of you is very, very busy. Um, <laughs> I'll direct your eyes to the, uh, to the center portion. The, the proposed garage is over to the left of the, uh, the the plan view, if you will. The reason we chose that was the the, the driveway comes up from the street, and it it, it forms kind of like a hammerhead uh, to access the existing garage that's in the existing home. Um, there was a uh, on this plan there is a, a a spot to relocate the shed from where it is now toward the back of the property, uh, between the existing house and, and some ledge outcroppings. But we chose the the, the the position to the left of the driveway there because the same driveway can be utilized to come up and access both. And in, 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 in both situations, vehicles can back out of those garages and then still negotiate the, uh, to turn and negotiate the driveway to exit the site. Okay. Scott, Scott so that's I, why we I, 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 res I respect that 100%. Yeah. I'm looking more of our zoning bylaws. Yeah. And so it doesn't really say that uh, it, it is required to be connected. Brian, I, I think, uh, are you looking at the bylaw? No? I am. Yeah. It doesn't, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, it doesn't really uh, say that it's required. It, is that is The unit must be a single family dwelling to which the family apartment is being added and must have been in existence and occupied, blah, blah, blah. So it's it's to which the family apartment is being added. I, 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 I just, I'm going back in memory to three, four, five years ago. And we had another one that um, there was a breeze where they had to be added for that breeze. Yeah, we we do. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, the, so uh, yeah, so we do. Um, it, it it does read that way, and um, so I guess it's it's for disc you know it's got some discretion there. So um, look, we do have some that are detached. Uh, we do have some that are connected by a breezeway. Um, you know, when they were approved, I, I don't really know. I know a few of them that are detached. Uh, we like to see them. I know the board likes to see them attached because of, um, you know, the ability, you know, makes it a little easier to kind of rent these out later, you know, but um, but we do have existing ones that are detached. Yeah, yeah I, I, I just, I'll add something to that if you don't mind. I, I hate to jump in, but um, no, we're not. just so you know, uh, we moved over from Franklin in 2013 and <clears throat> uh, we have been living in a condominium and um, we were ready to have no neighbors um, or as few neighbors as we could possibly have. And that's why we chose Bellingham, which was a little more rural at the time. And uh, when we we're looking for houses, our realtor, we were very interested in this house. And she said, well, people don't like that house because the driveway is so long. And our position was like the driveway is so long, we don't have any neighbors. So, you know, we, we don't have any intent of of renting it out to anybody ever. I mean, the plan would be that my mom is going to live there 
Um, my mom and dad get along really well. Uh, you know, it could be that he'll come up and if we can fit a two bedroom in there, maybe he'll stay with her here and there. Um, but it, that's not in our long-term plan. We, we plan to be in this house while we raise our kids. We have a nine-year-old and two five, five-year-old twins. Um, we're looking at this as a long-term plan and um, we have no desire to have anybody else on our property um, but us. Yeah, no, and we, I, know I, I just want to make sure that we we as a board are doing things correctly. That's all. I, I would like to add something. Yeah. So um, they have been in front of conservation um, yeah. already and um, they've gone through that process. Their, their lot is kind of challenged where I think the lot line comes up close to the back. Is that correct? The, the lot line is really yeah. close to the back. Um, and then the topo on the side, they have to cut in. I mean, they're able to do it. But the front, it's kind of challenging the front and the back is close to the lot line, kind of. They are set way back off so the road. Yeah, it's it's, 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 cha it's challenged. It's challenged. It's challenged. So I, I, the, it, it is the other reason we, The other reason we chose that location was it does afford um, access from the driveway level to the garage, but it also allows um, access from the living unit above to the back of the building where they can walk out at grade. So they can still enjoy going out into the yard without having to negotiate stairs. Okay, it's it's kind of it's a, it's a the topo is such that um, it, it 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 increases pretty quick off, off to the side, and that's what I think he's trying to explain. The so the garage would come in, and if you can picture the garage wall being higher in the back concrete, probably, and then walk out in the front, so the structure would be up on grade, I think. You know, yes, so that's correct. Yeah. It's a little challenged lot. I don't think you could add it off the back. No, I, I, I just for the property. Line. I want to make yeah. sure that we're not. Yep. The definition of two, Brian, I don't know if you looked at that, but it seems kind of ambiguous too. It says family apartment self contained housing unit consisting of one or more rooms with separate kitchen and bathroom facilities to be incorporated within an existing single family dwelling or as an addition. So it's incorporated. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't have an issue with us. Yeah, make sure we well, don't do it. Yeah, well. we. So in the past, we've had a couple of these, and we always spend 55 minutes talking about it. <laughs> <Not that much. laughs> but we, and we twist ourselves with knots trying to figure out a way to to, to make it happen. And the the times that we try to make it happen, there's extenuating circumstances where. There's an impossibility, mm -hmm. right? There's some reason why this structure, it's not desirable, it's impossible. So we can, it's topographical. It, it just yeah. can't. I do but, kind of agree, because I live, she's a, a neighbor of mine, but I do vaguely kind of know the property. So I can see, I think it is very. Brian, I, I think you're right. So I think you guys approved one off of Benelli. And that was a challenge lot as well. The topo, yeah, I think that, yeah, it was the topo was way up and it's not connected. Right. Um, and I think that's why you guys approved it because of the topo. They had no other choice. Mm -hmm. But I think the official policy and the official interpretation of the zoning bylaw, for the reasons that Tim said, is it has to be attached, except extenuating circumstances. Because we are, for the reason Tim said. We create structures that not this applicant, but the next owner of this property yes. will rent it out because you have a fully furnished apartment above a garage and you can no longer revert that back because the idea of the family in law apartments is once once you're done using it for this specific limited purpose, it reverts back to a single family home. So when you have a structure created separately, um, that can't happen. So we have to be on, yes. on guard for that. Mm -hmm. So, because um, I will say there was an applicant once that was before the board on a separate thing where he thought he could rent a uh, uh, thing on his property, and it was a family apartment, and he wasn't. Yeah, because I don't know if you recall that he's, he's still renting it. Well, I mean, that's yeah, yeah. not uh, each yeah. case is each case case, case, but it's not. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. and yeah. and realtors either because they don't know. Or they know, but they want to make a sale. They market properties like this as multifamily. You know, if you go on to MLS right now and type in multifamily building, you see a lot of houses that are probably not truly zoned multifamily. So that's that's why we should always be cautious. Yeah. Cautious. I will say one thing, probably to echo what the applicant's saying, and maybe ten that it is a challenging lot 
Seems it, like it, it definitely is. is. It definitely is. I and haven't really seen it. You know, close. and to your point, so we've developed a system now where uh, we have a five year period. Um, they get noticed automatically. Um, every on the anniversary, we notice them and we send out the application and we bring them back in now. It's recorded on the deed. So if they go to sell their house, um, the first thing that happens is, hey, um, is the, we get the phone call. Is this a, is this a two family? And it's like, no, it's not. It's an in law. You're you're allowed to apply for it. It's not a given. You know, you do have to come in, and that's that's the spiel that when they when the people realtors call, you know, you have to come in and apply for it. It's not um, it's not something that's automatic. So, you know, it's just out of curiosity. In the automatic review of every five years, do we mail it to the applicant or to the address? Yes. Thank you. Yes. That's my question. It's the address, and we and you've seen them. They've come in. You know, we've been. They come in to do different anniversaries. So you know, you're going to be seeing them more and more. We have a we have a whole list, and we're keeping track of it all. Right. Liz, anything? No, I think my my only question was about being so close to the lake, but it sounds like they already went to Concom. So. Um, yeah, it's on the opposite. Side. It's on the opposite. Yeah, it's on the opposite yeah. side. Yeah, but I didn't know yeah. if there was any like you're this close to a lake, you have to. Yeah. Apply for certain yeah, things. I mean, what was Crystal Lake, which is now more just kind of wetland. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. So I think the wetlands, uh, the wetlands are down in the front, isn't that correct? The buffer zone. That is correct. There, yeah. That is correct. And there's no, there's no work being proposed down on the front. Right. The driveway is it comes up to the site is existing. The um, if you look on the plan, it's it's kind of difficult to see, but in the center lower portion of the, the enlarged plan on the on, uh up in the middle sheet there. You can see in a little bit of a darkened line, a uh, a line with W's on it, or WS uh, for water service. There is an existing water service that comes up to the right-hand side of the driveway and then splits off, or, or takes off vertically and then into the existing house on the, uh, what would be the front right-hand corner of the house. Down where the, the water line is adjacent, uh, directly adjacent to the driveway, we show a proposed tie-in there where that water line, that water service can be tapped and extended to the proposed dwelling. Do you, do you folks see that? Yep. You see that? Okay. Now the um, the other thing is the this has also gone before the board of health and been approved by the board of health. Um, we we show the existing system is is going to continue to be utilized with the addition of a of an, uh, a single trench with a reserve area, um, and then it. Uh, the existing septic tank would remain, there would be a new distribution box uh, installed to um, redistribute to the the existing trenches. There's two existing trenches and two reserve areas that are existing that are dashed very lightly. And then to the left of that, you can see the proposed trench with the proposed reserve area. So that that configuration will take care of the, the uh, bedroom demand for both the existing house and the proposed uh, in-law. Awesome. Can I ask a question? Yeah, could you could you describe for me the difficulty of making this an attached? Yes. Right. If 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 this if this was to be attached to the existing home, um, you would lose the access to the existing garage, which is on the end of the house, facing to the right, uh, to the left rather, to, toward the um, toward the driveway. That's it. it would also be. It, it would also. Um, well, we. Could, I'm sure we could find a way to fit this to, to alter the septic system, but it's just. It's just the way everything's configured right now. Uh, ideally, we'd be probably best to put it in the back, but we have the ledge outcropping there. Um, it just. It just works so well the way it is because of the driveway configuration. The fact that we want to maintain both garages, one for the existing home, one for the for the new home, and um, it, it. That's that's why we chose this configuration. Does the ledge, I see on the map here, you can kind of see the big ledge outcropping by the shed. Um, it's behind, it's, behind the shed, yep. Does the evidence kind of suggest then there's probably, I imagine, ledge, under, you know, once you start, if you try to go towards the back, too, well, you're going to have that hard it, check of hitting rock. It, it's kind of a crapshoot because if, if, if I look That's at the grading, yeah. if I look at the grading where the proposed garage is, where the slope is there, it it and, and and then continuing toward the rear of the site, it appears that that when this house was constructed and the driveway was built, there was an excavation there to take that material away to to uh, allow the the driveway to the grade of the driveway to work with the home. I I would assume at that time that ledge 
outcropping was is exposed was exposed at that time and whether or not the uh, ledge is encountered in, in building the new garage we just don't know because we haven't dug into that hill so it's possible that that hill is just is just dirt maybe with some so a boulder here or there uh, it's possible there's a ledge outcropping sitting but below that but we just don't know may i speak to that for just a second um and i i i I just, for better or worse, I'm actually like a, a an attorney and, and I um, do a lot of real property work. So I, I understand your concerns and I, I totally get it. Um, there needs to be all avenues to have the attached explored. Um, on the plan, I believe that you're looking at, the shed is in the new proposed position. It, the shed is where we would hope to put the in-law. Um, and there's a huge outcropping of ledge that we uncovered after we purchased a property because uh, we wanted, it was required of a builder to put about 200 junipers and um, I guess sort of crush them on gravel and all these other, you know, burlap and all these other things. Cause we live in almost like a bowl. There's a, it just, you go out of the backyard and then it goes straight up probably about 25 feet. And there's a huge bowl. And, um, that's behind the entire house because we've thought about putting we thought about doing something detached at the back of the house but then we wouldn't my mom wouldn't have a garage we'd have to extend the driveway around the house i mean there's a space on the it just this is the only feasible spot for us really and um <clears throat> according to jude who works uh, with scott his he thought that where the the way that the rock outcropping was positioned that the the sort of triangle that juts out, which was where we are planning, we would plan or hopefully be approved for this in-law, um, is is less ledge than anywhere else we might find on the property, and um, we've looked at every. I mean, every time we've considered where we could put this, and it's always in the context of, of for my my seventy six year old mom, who hopefully will be eighty six and ninety six while she's living here, um, to afford her her privacy and access to a garage and uh, maintain the character of the house was sort of this, this position where the shed is, um, you know, in an ideal world, the lot wouldn't be shaped like this, but it's very unique and we love it because we have a lot of privacy and um, we have no real neighbors that are going to be disrupted by anything. Um, and, and if, and, you know, I guess if there's a requirement that somehow we, um, attach it to the existing house uh, with a breezeway uh you know I, I think that may be more comp that might that might be like the death knell for the whole plan but no, I, I I get you got a quick quick question oh you know, I'm having trouble with the plans I'm just going to be honest with you I kind of took a picture of my phone and blew it up some because I'm getting old now see as well um how far from the house how is the closed new garage going to be What's the distance between the house and the new structure? About 54 feet. Okay. Not a lot. Okay. Um, I, would, I would like to add, so I think, I think I can see one of the reasons why they're probably trying to propose a detached as well, and whoever did the engineering. If you can see, the yacht is like this. It's a big, it goes very high, and it goes high all the way around. Yeah. I can see that a large, is that a deck or a screen porch or something off the back in the corner? That's like a builder's grade deck that, that yeah, came okay. to the house. It's like a 10 by 10. Okay, so I can see a bulkhead in that. But if you were to add a structure on the back, you're going to interfere with the swelling of the water. That's probably, this looks like it's graded away on both sides. If you look at this, the topo goes up all the way yeah. around. And you have to create water to go both ways. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just going to come to the house. And if I'm thinking if they added something off the back, I would imagine either they're going to hit ledge because I'm sure ledge goes down or you've got to keep the water flow going too. You know, you, well, yeah. if they put something off the back, it's going to stop the swelling. It, it's going to be much higher. I can see how high it goes. These contour lines. I No, I don't know. Way up. I, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would imagine that. Vaguely know the problem. Probably but you know, it does go up like that, yeah. but that is a good point. Yeah. What about like moving it? Attaching it to the side of the house. To the right side? Well, that side's where the garage northeast. To the right side or the left side? Well, if I'm looking at it, it would be on the left side. Oh, to the garage side. Yeah. So the, the, the only, the only issue there, 
yeah, the only issue there is that um, that's our that's the the two car garage that's attached that 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 our our family uses, and so we would that means we'd have to like just bump out the whole structure. We still wouldn't have another garage space. It would. I don't know how we could even do that with the master bedroom is actually over the garage. We even thought about doing it on the other side of the house, but then we lose the garage space and we don't want to pave all around the house. I mean, the goal is that my mom would be able to park in a garage because truth be told, she's from Virginia and they, I'm from Virginia, but I've been up here for 20 years. Um, you know, we want to make sure that she's able to park in a garage somewhere and access her house without having to, um, you know, jump through a lot of hoops or, or, or whatever it is. So, um, if, 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 you know, if it helps the board to come out and take a view, I mean, that's fine too. I, you know, I, Scott and, and Jude at OHI have been awesome. Um, you know, it's a very challenging property. It's, it's really hard to conceptualize that we don't have any other options really. And, um, I don't know. And my mom is already, <laughs> I mean, she's excited about this. So whatever we can do to get through. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know we've beaten this stuff unfortunately. Yeah. So the right side of the house is very close to the 50 foot buffer zone, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of um, discouraging, discouraged by Hong Kong. There is a retaining wall that looks on the on the right corner that's coming down and holding the earth back. But um, also that just puts it really close to the um, 50 foot, um, which would be scrutinized. But um, I get your point. You know, I mean, it, it, they are, I think they are trying to keep the water from hitting the house and going both ways. So I think by detaching it, it's going to still go down the driveway and it's still going to go to the right. It's probably graded that way, but that's all. I, that's what I see. No, I, I, uh, I, you know, I, I uh, respect Tim's opinion, and if, if he believes that this is a challenging property and it's difficult and all of that, I, I, I'm sure that's true. So I'm, whereas I'm on a principal point of view, it, the, the in-law apartment, the official interpretation, I believe is attached in this particular circumstance uh, based on Tim's recommendations. I think that, that there is significant um, enough difficulties to do that to justify allowing it to be detached. But again, the res with the, you know, our, I strongly believe that in almost any other circumstance, these things need to be attached. That's, that's kind of why I brought it up. Let's, Anthony. No, I mean, I think we have precedents for other detached um, in laws in extenuating circumstances. So I think we have to kind of trust I that all the key. professionals are, um, you know, telling us that this is really the only location where it can work. I do agree that the lead would be a problem within the northwestern section, and the topography uh, does not really help with adding um, the, the addition anywhere else, anywhere where it's attached. So, and uh, it doesn't make sense to change the garage and the driveway uh, in order to attach it on the southwestern edge either. So, I'm I agree with the with the board. No, I agree. I mean, I think um, having walked by it, I've seen, I've gotten glimpses and I can see it's a challenging site. So I think that um, I agree basically with that. I think the drainage from what I can, can gather and from looking at, at the land, I can see that would be an issue if it was on the back. And um, I, I'm comfortable. I think in this case, it seems like it's a challenging site from everything I can see. Motion to close the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any further discussion with the board? Uh, Tim, do you do you think there's any conditions that need to be added to this? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, our biggest concern is the rental issue with these things. Um, no, I, I don't think, uh, no, as far as this one goes, no. I mean, conservation is, uh, you know, um, doing uh, some in order of conditions with a couple of extra conditions on it already, you know, as far as to protect, because everything's going this direction, 
and that's where the wetland is. So they're mind they're already mindful of you know what they have to do with the septic and everything. Um, I just don't know about the water line. So the water line, um, I, I I know you said you have to split off the water line. Uh, you may want to check with DPW first on that. You may have to run it from the house out. Otherwise, you're going to have to. Um, it's going to be a separate meter, and I'm not sure they're going to allow that. So you just might want to have your contractor check on that before you get too far. Sure. With the just from a technical point of view, is the electricity also separately metered, or is that no? It can't be. Okay. No, it's going to have to. The electricity is going to have to come from your house to a sub panel. Understood. Okay. Yeah, because that comes up, right? That's just it's just another um, uh, safety for us, you know, as far as you know, having another meter. Totally understood. Okay. So I'll move to uh, to allow the permit as requested. Second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, I'm not sure you were on for the last meeting. First of all, congratulations, though, you. Happy to bring your mom up. Yeah. Um, her stuff is oh, half her stuff is packed up and already headed to Albany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You better get going. We do have a 20 day appeal process. And once that takes place, we'll issue the permit and you got to register with the registry of deeds. Um, and like we told the other applicant, the five year permit. No problem. Okay. And um, hopefully, God, my mom, mom your mom and dad will be here and yeah. Five years. Thank okay. you so much. This is such a relief. I really, I really thank you guys. I mean, this is just a huge step for our family. Thank you. Congratulations. You thank all. You. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. And we got minutes. You were missing. I got one video. Oh, click on that. I think I had documents. June 1st and July 6th. So I was on it. And he's supposed to be a good one. I was trying to start it. June 1st. I was on the stock before. And then it went off. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I know, but she asked me. To... <laughs> Any um, comments or minutes? Thank you. Yeah. So I I wasn't here for this in first meeting. Um, well, on this stage, you were here. Yeah, well, but I was here. So we need to get that corrected. If you want. Yep, I'll talk to her when she went back. But I, I wasn't going to vote on it. Amy just couldn't tell the difference. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? We'll, we'll start with the first one. Do the first thing. Any other questions? Do the first. I didn't have any comments. No comments. I didn't have any. Okay, motion to accept the June first meeting minutes. Motion to accept the June first meeting minutes with the um, change and stuff. I'll make that change. Anyone want to second it? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 July sixth meeting minutes. The only comment I had about those was. Um, uh, is that in various places you Peter second in motions and making motions? No, never happened. So, uh, I think perhaps someone else seconded these motions, no, not you. All right, so why don't we hold on these and I will talk to him young. I think it was, uh, I think it was what? Ryan, right? Yeah, maybe it's, yeah. I, it, it doesn't. I I I wouldn't. I don't want to make this a big. It's not a big deal, but no. Technically, you're right. But have Amy check. Oh, uh, Amy check. Yeah, well, well, I watch at least Amy check for a second, but silly motion. I I think it was Brian Wright. I think. So. We'll have make, I'll have a change. Let us. That's my memory. So can I entertain a motion to accept them with the changes that I do not second any of these. Motion. Move. Thank you. All the favor? Aye. Aye. How about motion to close this meeting? <laughs> Two moves. There is football Thank tonight. You. All the favor? Aye. 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 Who's playing? Um, Kansas City. I don't like Kansas City. But the same reason people don't like the Patriots back when they're good. The back are good. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a good enough reason. To I don't want to say anything. Exactly. I recognize this petty. <laughs> These are the implement changed. We're good to go. Uh, 